So one of the most asked questions that I get is um, why do I like Airtable um, so much? Like why do I use Airtable over like Google Sheets, for example, um, uh, as an alternative? And I, it is a, a very valid question. When I started building out the, these automations, I actually did go with, with Google Sheets to start with. Um, so, but I just want to go through like the whole of Airtable, you know, I've been working on it quite intensively for like a, a year now, maybe, maybe longer. Um, and there's a lot of sort of hidden features, hidden gems and things like that, that um, really make it like the absolute winner if you compare it to, um, to like Google Sheets. So to start off with, I'll go with one of like the first benefits um, for me is having a desktop application um i don't like having to have like loads of um like google sheets like tabs open and that is like a massive plus for me obviously there are ways that, that you can get google sheets as a desktop application using like plugins or converting it into a desktop app like i am aware of that but i just find like it's just so much cleaner working with um Airtable as a sort of native um, application that, that's just all, always there for me. Um, and on top of that, like I, I, they have like a similar interface, but I pref much prefer like managing this. Um, and obviously I do pay for Airtable and Google Sheets is completely free. Um, but I genuinely feel I get that much benefit out of it that I'm happy to pay for it as an alternative. Um, Google Sheets is still like a great tool, just I think Airtable really, really does outperform it. Um, so I don't really use this, but there are some really interesting like templates here. I haven't gone through it in a while, but they have like, you know, anything in terms of like um, product launch. There are some interesting templates and you can just install other people's templates that, that they've built. Um, so I think that's like, that's really interesting. In fact, I could actually potentially release some of my, I'm not sure what the process is, but I could actually release some of my, um, bases as as templates um so that'd be quite interesting so like next up everything is like very much sort of split up into bases and um so into like different categories or workspaces uh, as they call them um so i have like pretty much everything under here this is the, the one that i pay for as you can see i've got a ton of of different bases um so i'll just go through like a few of like my sort of use cases um because i i use this for everything so here for example we have like targeting competitors customers and instead if we go into this is the, the other like beautiful thing as well is you can have different views i don't know if people have really like un understood this and sort of gathered this together but i'll go through a few different use cases as well this is a database containing all of my competitors um and so here we've got like uh the, we've got their website we've got the category so what do they do their pricing here like i can add in attachments so again this is something that google sheets doesn't offer i can attach like a zip file just to download it so everything is in like a centralized location um so anyone within our team like they don't need to ask me for a file or something like that everything's very visible um we can give like ratings um for different tools obviously Google Sheets doesn't offer anything like that. Attaching like screenshots is, is really interesting as well. I also, this is something I use a lot as well, statuses. Um, now, I think you could do something similar in terms of like conditional formatting with Google Sheets, but it's just much more complex to set up. Like this just takes like a, a minute to do. And again, like I'm just attaching like more sort of documents here. We have checkboxes for if something's done or not. Um, you can actually also now embed um, websites. You can embed like iframes into it. Um, but anyway, so like they're just some really like simple features. But the thing that I love about Airtable is just their like filtering options. So I can have like really complex filtering systems in place. You can stack multiple filters on top of each other. So I can filter by dates. I can filter by does it contain X? Does it not contain X? Um, is it an exact match? Is it not? So when we're building out like our complex outreach automations, like these filters are just so useful and just like required. So if I've sent a message to someone, I can then filter them out of that view for the next three days so that it, they will then only come back and be visible once three days has passed and it's time for us to follow up. And again, just building something like that in Google Sheets, I, I don't even think it's possible. Um, 
so yeah and then like we can also the other thing that i love is we can have like a share we can share the view uh, only a specific view so with like google sheets you can you would share like the whole table and and someone would have access to everything um so i'm not talking about different tabs i'm talking about just a specific view within this specific tab um so let's say that like, i'm working with a client and i want to be able to view all of the information and i don't want to show everything to the client because it's going to be too confusing they're not going to have a clue what's going on i can make a simplified view hide certain fields just for the client like this so i'm only showing them the information that, that i want to show them and then i can just go and share and give them a view that they're then able to access um, it's also really easy for me to embed this on a website and yeah so that's just like sort of one example i can also come into like a, a trello style view like kanban view so you could actually make a really interesting crm um like you could build your own crm within Airtable, like something similar to pipe drive um where we're sort of dragging people across based on, on their status and, and what we've done and so on so that's like included as well it's based off of those records um I don't use it too much in, in that particular view, but I, I have used it in the past. Um, and then like another example that I have, uh, it, this just sort of show, I'll just go through a few different examples to show you how flexible um, this is. So I actually built a, um, I built an Airtable uh, base here. And whenever a new product is added, I built an automation to automatically sync it across to our Shopify store um, and if I like leave an update in here for example if I change the image if I add some if I change the price or something it's going to be synced over to um, over to Shopify so this is just like another like visual view that, that we can have um, and one thing that I actually forgot to mention I um, recently the uh, like the interface of Google Sheets was updated and I think they've made some like massive improvements and and made it much more similar to Airtable. But because I just essentially spend all day staring at spreadsheets and staring at data, I really like um, that they the um, rows that they're, they're like sort of bigger. So rather than having to like get finding it all with like small text and things like that, I, like I just much prefer working from um, Airtable because of the size of the rows. But like I said, Google Sheets did update that recently. Um, however, I, I still prefer looking at Airtable. And we can also adjust like the the size of all of them just to make it like easier on, on the eyes. Um, and then what I would do is if I come down to, let's go in here, for example. So just to show you like how I separate all of my, my different views. Whilst that's loading as well, like I, I also I much prefer the Airtable API compared to um, like if you're not using it, it's, it's absolutely fine. But I much prefer the Airtable API compared to um, to Google Sheets. I think they've done a much better job of like documentation and it's just just much easier to use. Um, they've also just made like some really it's just like the little things that really count so um they've given you like example requests rather than you having to make your own request this is actually a real person within our database i won't click show api key because i'm just going to give it away to, to anyone but um essentially i can just copy and paste this and it's actually going to be a fully functioning request so they've dynamically brought in all of this information which i think is is really cool um, and then here's an example in this particular base. I have I've like what, 10 or 15 LinkedIn accounts and I can actually group them. So now they appear like this. So I can just see the records associated with this particular account. I can see the percentage, how, how many have a connection status filled. And it just gives like a really easy overview of everything. Um, and I have my filters in place. There's 14 filters applied in this space. So like I said, it's fairly, um, I stack a lot of filters on top of each other to make it sort of workable with our like automations. So, um, yeah, and just like in, in Google Sheets, it would just be way more um, complicated to do it. Uh, well, they also do have like conditional based filtering. Um, another feature like 
so we the other thing that I use a lot is um, based off last message. So when a last message uh, a field was edited last, it's going to print that date here, and that allows you to build like um, some some really good uh, filtering systems and also build more like complex automations on top of like what you're doing. Um, they also Airtable is actually like a relational database, so I can actually make a new table, a new field over here. And based off information that is happening here, maybe I don't want all of this stuff. I can print a record in a new table and any updates that happen here will be applied over here. So again, like I said, with like a um, client or something like that, I think it's really useful. Um, but also if anyone's like technical for something like sort of MongoDB or something like that, Airtable sort of functions in the same way. Everything is stored as, as a record um within the database and i find that is much easier to work with compared to um compared to to like google sheets um so now i will go into like some other uh let me just find so i think i haven't actually got it here um but we can go into like the sort of plugins so they have a number of uh, different sort of native plugins that are available. So if you go into blocks, ah, sorry, another huge thing is revision history. I like, for example, if someone, um, I can go back to, a, this is just a brand new thing, but anytime you make a change, uh, I don't know if people know this, but you can revert back to any stage in the past year when you have a, a, a um, save subscription. So if someone in your team like makes a change or if someone deletes something and, and you can't find out what it is, you can revert back to any point in your um, history of this database. So in terms of like losing data and things like that, that it is, it is insanely good. This has saved my, saved my ass a number, a number of times. Um, and yeah, um, like I, again like it's just just personal view lot view people can't do it it's so that so other people can't make changes i think it's just like incredible anyway um like you, you would think i'm an ambassador for uh for airtable um okay so they've now started releasing a number more uh, a large number of more um uh sort of plugins so we can now run our own script with inside Airtable um, we can embed loom videos we have search functionality like I said earlier we have like a URL preview um, you can do batch updating uh, countdown timers time trackers for how long you've spent on something um, the duplicate functionality could actually be improved that is the one thing I would say but then there's also integrations like SendGrid and Clearbit. So based on the records that you have stored in here, you can actually enrich with Clearbit without ever needing to send over to their API. Same with SendGrib, we can send emails to people that, that are over here. Um, and another thing that I'm just going to do is the thing that I've discovered recently that I really love is this tool. So Airtable Web Clipper, if anyone doesn't know this, um, I can come into, I'm going to come into this space where I have this set up, widgets. So this is another view that I have where I've essentially taken all of our competitors, found things that I like, and I can just sync it over to, um, like you could also do this for lead generation. I was doing this in the past. Let's give you a quick example. Um, let's say you wanted to do this manually, like we can come over here, we can then open Airtable Web Clipper, we choose what database we want to add it to. Um, and I can, what I can actually do is uh, how did I set that up before? Block. I need to actually open this in. Anyway, like so, I can actually set it up to um, 
pull data in from like the first name from the page title um, and if we go back I can do add to data not this one sorry it's coming to this one so it automatically pulls in like the page title I can extract any data from this page um, it's extracted the URL I can then go and take an attachment I can add a screenshot and pull that data in and, and it's then added as a new record within Airtable. So if you're doing like lead generation or trying to pull in data from websites and you're doing it manually, um, which there are reasons to do, um, this is just like, it's, it's an extension that they've sort of built on top, which I, I absolutely love. I use it most days, particularly if I'm doing like competitive research, as you can see here, just syncing data back from our competitors on things that they're doing, things that I like and and so on um so yeah like i really i just i really think that um i was like skeptical about about paying for a spreadsheet in the past like you know i knew that you can get it for free that i can use google sheets or something like that and it, it took me like probably about two weeks to actually um make make the move over to to really like see the benefits of, of Airtable but just like even just things like this I just it's now so embedded into my workflow um I could never never go back to um to Google Sheets so I don't I don't even consider Google Sheets anymore when I'm doing something like Airtable is just so flexible I can use it for anything I can use it for storing leads I can use it for competitive research I can use it for scraping. Pretty much all of my automations are built on top of Airtable because it, it's just as good as having like a a, um, a sort of commercial grade database like MongoDB or something set up. Like if you start moving into like big data and we're talking like billions of records or even like millions of records, it does get a little bit more complex to set up. But I'm currently working with 250 million different records within Airtable um comfortably and but like the if, if you were building like an enterprise grade application yeah you're going to need a database but for building like the automations that most of my videos are on i i cannot think of a better tool compared to Airtable um for doing this like it is just the most like versatile database system that um that i know of obviously it has native plugins for like zapier and integral maps so you can build everything on top of it without even needing to use their their api um you can also add in like uh, filtering by like formulas um and, and like the, the it's it can be a really simple um data like table if you want it to be like in google sheets i think that's why most people ask me why why do you use Airtable over Google Sheets, if you're just using it as a really simple spreadsheet, like it functions absolutely fine for doing that. Um, but if you want to get like way more advanced and use like the advanced like filtering systems, um, filtering by like formulas and um, like even like just things like this, just um, like extracting data, like we can build just really complex um, formulas with Airtable. It's really like, I, I find it much easier to use in Google Sheets. Um, and we can have our own like scripts running within Airtable. And, you know, I just think it's just, it's just in, invaluable. Um, really great tool. I will give this five out of five stars. Absolutely guaranteed. I use this on a day to day basis. It is my, in fact, if anything, I use it too much. Um, I just, I make Airtable work for whatever, whatever I want it to because it is that flexible. I can build CRM, I can build a task manager. I manage a lot of like um, Notifier product management within Notifier, um, but so within Airtable. And yeah, I, I actually don't have any negatives about Airtable. The only thing is um, you have to pay for it. But again, I just think the benefits completely outweigh any other free uh, free versions. Um, and you're limited to 50,000 records per base, which to start with, that sounds quite small because in Google Sheets, you can have like hundreds of thousands of records. However, it's, it's not something that I run into as an issue often. And on top of that, the only time I do run into it as an issue is if I'm doing outreach. 
in which case it forces you to sort of segment your visitor uh, your um your leads which in marketing is not a bad thing at all um so you can you can see like the positive out of being limited to 50,000 records per base um yeah i think like other than that i've i hope that sort of covers everything uh, i'm sure there are like one or two things that i've missed because it is just such a, a versatile solution with, with with so many different features and there there are so many different ways that, that you can use airtable um if you want some inspiration obviously you can go into like the templates here like content calendar project tracking product launch event planning bug tracking video production social media calendar um and like the, the thing to remember is that you can build automations on top of all of these things like with your social media calendar let's like use this template for example um you can like when it becomes time to post you could build a really easy automation with um integromat that would post uh like you, you would set a time oh yeah you can also do this as well assigning to specific people within your team but um what you could do is add a record and we can put like a, a date and when to post and you could just uh set it for uh, when to post and you would choose when you want this content to go up in here and when this time happens Integromat can actually track that and it will post at, at the right time so you could build your own social media scheduling tool entirely from Airtable which like I think is just is just so cool you could literally turn this into a SaaS platform um, we're using Airtable as your back end at some point you're going to come into it a, an issue with um, sort of scalability but um, to start off with, I think it's 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 just an awesome tool. Um, if you haven't used Airtable, I definitely recommend that you go and check it out. They do have a, a limited free plan, which is good enough, but for like twenty dollars per month for for the level of flexibility that they offer, for me it's an absolute no brainer. Um, I think I think it's great. Um, if you have any questions. I will be more than happy to like answer anything. I've gone really, really in depth with Airtable. I've been using it daily for the past like probably year, year and a half, maybe. Um, and yeah, like play around with the filtering and views. And um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Any questions, please leave a comment.